62% of the people, you know, I mentioned that before, say they're afraid to say anything for fear of getting these vile attacks. Let's, let's assume you don't agree with what Nate said or did in his video. Just for argument's sake, I'm not saying you do disagree with his satirical video, but let's say for argument's sake that you don't agree with it. Do you agree with them getting him fired, threatening his daughter with violence, threatening to come to his home? If, if you say, that's hey, it's free speech, they can say whatever they want, that's fair and equitable, raise your hand. You think it's okay? Oh, no. And what's your name? I'm Danielle. Danielle, what do you want to yes. say? Um, I believe as a people, you know, we all have opinions. But unless you're speaking from a place of love, I think you should just keep it to yourself. And, if, I mean, if you disagree, mm -hmm. I mean, you can say so, but you can do it respectfully, right? Right, right. We're not speaking from a place of love. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has something to say and not really being sensitive to who is really hurting in the situation. Yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. true. There's no reason to attack this man and his family. I don't agree with what you did. I think as an officer of the law, I don't pay my tax dollars for you to do TikToks. Right. But you know, you can do that out, out of uniform. But I do not agree with them firing you for it. Mm -hmm. Everything that happens, every opinion that we make, every mistake that we make is a teachable lesson. Mm -hmm. They should have, if they had a problem with you making TikTok videos, they should have had that energy from the beginning and let you know, hey, you shouldn't be doing this in your uniform, that's not protocol, and then, you know, you get talked to, you get a warning, you don't do it anymore, this situation would have never happened. Because it is a sensitive issue, the time and place to say what we say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I respond to them? Yeah. When I posted my TikTok, I wasn't addressing the shooting of Makaya Bryant. I was addressing LeBron James' reaction to it and how dangerous it was for that officer. Now, I agree. I mean, Makaya Bryant's death was indeed tragic. It absolutely was. She was a 16-year-old girl, for God's sakes. But Officer Reardon was put in an impossible position that day. He had no other choice. Otherwise, another, another young black girl would have died that day. Um, so I came at it from a standpoint of defending police officers who come under attack when they do their jobs and they're justified in the actions they take during these use of force incidents. But LeBron James, again, he's, he's got the right to say you know, what he wants to say, just like we all do but he's got 50 million followers on Twitter. He, he has more of a responsibility to temper what he says, I believe, because his message can be misconstrued or misinterpreted to incite violence. I wanna say, yeah, I disagree with the people who sent you and especially your family messages that were violent, uncalled for. I don't feel like that's right. I don't agree with what you did. I agree with them about, an, a message of kindness. I think that you guys shouldn't say anything of it unless it's nice. However, the same way you think that LeBron James should be held accountable for his amount of followers, you said yourself that you had a pretty large following on your TikTok. And I think you should be also held accountable for the exact same level of thoughtness in your speech. Because you know that black shootings in America are a really serious problem. And you made it a racist issue. It was about LeBron James commenting, a citizen that's allowed to comment on political happenings, police happenings. It's not a police issue. It's an American issue. It's a violence issue. And it affects all of us. And you decided to bring race into it by doing a little sketch about two black guys in a knife fight when it wasn't. It was about uh, LeBron James. Just, just to be clear, I did not bring race into this. I happen to be addressing a man who happens to be black. That's not me being racist. That's, that's not me pulling race into it. He's a black man. I'm a white man. And I'm addressing his comment. I'm not attacking his race. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to speak because he's a black man. He has every right, just like I do. But there's nothing racist about my video. There was nothing racist about my intent, about my intended message. I think the issue overall is that we don't have conversations anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you're racist. I, I, I actually disagree. I don't think that video at all was about race. And I don't believe you know, that that was your intent. But to go back on conversation, that is how we progress. You know, Had someone said, or had you replied to a comment, or had it been me that's seen your video and said, hey man, you know, this is a really hot topic right now. Let's let's talk. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.